I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm also Dr. Phillips. Today on the show, do cave paintings in museums make us violent? The anti-beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks and go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share our last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right and right is wrong. Or we're East meets West, and the West always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share alike, love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the court of hydroponic farm growing potatoes, or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and Starve the poor is my wonderful wife. Thank you. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, um, you know, whatever that means, but people just respond oh, badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> um, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition. This is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil.
can't be me, Mort. Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. <laughs> I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm -hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history mm -hmm. or cross cultural cultural underwear or something. Very young. Very uh, foolish. Mm -hmm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. He was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, Country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. Have you heard the number one gardening show in San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just go buy your vegetables at the grocery store then, you sick offense? God, I just don't understand people. You go to hell. Well, screw you too, Mom. See if you're ever on the show again. Next call, hello. Yeah, what's that plant that blooms every 12 years? Is it for high and smells like hell? I want to plant one on my ex wife lawn. It's called Amorphophallus titanium. God, I love to say that. Amorphophallus titanium. <laughs> But why does it seem so bad? It's about marking your territory, my dear. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks we're in Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bar? And when you can attend a marathon and taste of wonderful German's wurst, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and this... Don't know how long we've been out here And these nights are getting shorter Like a Banerjee or clunker In my soul, this is real These nights are getting shorter In my soul, this is real